From intimacy to integrity, how spirituality can transform your sex life. From intimacy to integrity, how spirituality can actually transform your sex life. Spiritual significance of intimacy in marriage. By God's grace, in today's video, a sharp contrast of the video I made last about the eight days you should never have sex, even if you are a couple. By God's grace, in addition to several videos I've made on this particular part, because somehow is part that is easily not talked about even among Christian them, as if it is too sacred to talk about. But believe me, because I want your perfect well-being, as long as you are a member of this channel, I want you to live a balanced and happy life as a married person. Because of course, Bible said it's not good for that man to be alone. If he says it's not good, what God says is not good is actually bad. So my a prayer is that as many of you that are single session and believe God that you want to get married that before this year runs out to get married because there will be marriage galore in this particular channel like I told you that this is my birthday month so I wish to pray for everyone that is believing God to get married that God will settle you in an unsung relationship in Jesus name amen so I want to talk about some at least five spiritual significance of sex when it comes to marriage or intimacy when it comes to marriage and that's to tell you that because you are doing spirituality because most of the times when we are doing spiritual work we are to abstain from sex that does not mean that you should not enjoy sex with your partner if i get enough thumbs up and comment also in this particular video i will be sharing with you a seven or eight days that is optionally compulsory that you must have sexual intimacy with your partner if you want to progress your destiny to shine one transformation in your relationship and your relationship begin to operate in another level so if only you follow me to the end of today's video i'll be sharing with you this spiritual significance of intimacy in marriage but before then please give this video a like so that youtube are already we shift it to other people that need it as it is so may god bless you welcome back to jenny Ashen tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which actually have safety and spirituality in this channel we pray strategic prayers we read the word of god in and out we believe in balance that is actually why we do spiritual work so if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you are highly welcome please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload for my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's dive in. Before I go ahead, I wish to remind you that our Waking Mind Global Spirituality Academy Cohort 3 is kicking off by November 1st. And already those that want to be part and part of that particular WhatsApp and Telegram class is already showing their interest you go through the comment section as well as the community to get right up about it believe me spiritual is the physical there are certain secrets existing in this universe that nobody might actually come openly to social media like this to share with you that is where we we'll rub mind together you can ask those questions that is when you even ask it in this particular channel i will never answer you because of one youtube guideline and again it may be outside the provisions of what i share openly but when you ask it there you get voracious and satisfying answer when it comes to spirituality it is where spiritual seekers gather together in order to share interest and then some things that has been bothering you about spirituality you will know more and believe me it will be the best legacy you can actually give to your unborn generation because why most of us are suffering today is because of the knowledge we are denied about spirituality and we are operating in one-sided a kind of religion where we only pray fast without doing spiritual work why the bible says you without work is dead you will know more deeper spiritual directions and work that will bring transformational results in your life so that's being said now marriage is a sacred union between two imperfect people coming together to work towards perfection marriage is not between perfect people they are always imperfect from different background but you're coming together will lead to perfection and you know that marriage is a sacred union 
between two opposite opposite sex partners that reflects God's love and companionship and you notice that in Genesis 2 24 that God actually created marriage to be a beautiful union that will bring about companionship so much so that both parties are involved and naked and they are not ashamed because that is how God would then it that there must be some form of intimacy that will lead to producing godly seed that will continue the, the creation of human that God has started. And you notice that for the joy of creation to continue, even as we see in Matthew 19 verse 5, that there must be a wholesome, healthy relationship between two partners. And that was why I mentioned in my past video that intimacy or sex should not be a yastic to be a place of settling of quarrels and then conflict between partners because if there is any con conception that takes place at that particular time that is when a very troublesome stubborn child will be giving birth to that will give that couple wahala all through their life so to avoid that it is always good that the partners are always to a great extent happy with each other having a peaceful coexistence and peaceful relationship and settle their conflicts amicably not within the confine of intimacy all right so you notice that there are biblical guidelines concerning intimacy and the, some of these uh, do not deprive one another but by mutual consent even if there will be deprivation it will be that two of you agree and mostly because you want to give yourself time for prayers so that satan will not take advantage of that period to tempt or bring any of you down summary of this is that one of the significance of intimacy in marriage is regular intimacy it's expected that couple who are married should regularly have intimacy with one another number two is what i call exclusive intimacy are you aware that hebrew 13 verse 4 said marriage should be honorable in all with bed on the file that womongers and adulterer god will judge and that is to tell you that marriage, that intimacy is reserved for marriage because it is strengthening the bond. That most of the times that you are engaged is not enough reason to go and then start the kind of trying out intimacy. But most of the times we normally say that a broken engagement is better than broken marriage. Something might happen that marriage will not really hold. But because of that intimacy that both have shared, it will become hard for that particular a kind of a emotion to be a kind of healed. And again, you are going contrary to God's ordinance which may not also help your spiritual growth so as much as possible avoid any form of other intimacy that is outside the marriage and also abuse of the intimacy because there are certain things you do you need to get my video about seven places you should never access and then some says a kind of action you should not undertake because doing that you are going contrary to the law of intimacy exclusive intimacy or sharing intimate moment with other any other person other than your married partner it has spiritual die consequences and i told you that that is why some people here are saying rest in peace are not resting in peace when they leave this world they are resting in pieces because their dna has been copied to different locations because you might finish having a kind of intimacy with somebody in nigeria and that person happens to travel america if you happen that one of the partner dies you may need to go and get that your dna back into your life in order to have a rest in peace because human being a spirit soul and body this is one thing the bible said that you should abstain or run away from sexual sins that other sins are outside the body sex or sexual uh, sense or intimacy is one sin that have connection with your spirit and soul and because you're living this earth leads your spirit and soul 
to go and rest. You will notice because your soul has been contaminated in different and several ways, you may need to pack your soul and spirit together. And for that reason, you will never rest running up and down, trying to gather your DNA that has been copied to different locations and places. That is why you have to be very careful about how you treat sex. This world is deeper than you think. It is it's not all about what you think and it's not all about what is written in the Bible because actually Jesus himself said in John 21 verse 25 if everything that is that he has done on this particular head is documented in all the book on this head it will not even contain it he said in John 16 13 nevertheless when the Holy Spirit come he will teach you all truth there are secret and deeper secrets and truth about life that you may never see written anywhere it is only by divine encounter you will know it and that is one truth i have encountered i know that i'm sharing with you as much as possible do yourself a favor and avoid unnecessary sexual intimacy and if you have been such that has been sharing your dna anyhow by different types of sexual actions with different people my dear you need serious spiritual cleansing not just ordinary spiritual cleansing which may not be what i'll be sharing here it may be part of what i will discuss in our spiritual academy okay that's by the way so number three is emotional connection you notice that according to sons of solomon 1 verse 2 to 4 as well as 8 6 to 7 is concerned do you see what solomon wrote there your love is more delightful than wine love is as strong as death that's to tell you that to a great extent emotional intimacy precede physical intimacy and this can only be gotten in the confide of success and that is one of the things that makes sex a beautiful thing though it is not what easily discussed and among christians but we christians have to tell ourselves the truth god is the one who created this and it's a beautiful thing and it's meant to enjoy and not to be enjoyed but don't abuse it because abuse of it also have die consequences number is mutual concept notice according to first corinthians 7 3 to 5 the husband, husband should fulfill his marital duties to the wife as well as the wife by so doing there is this mutual connection which will bring peace harmony love and among the partners and in other words the husband should not use of his authority as the head of the family head of the wife to deprive because if he does so it is at the peril of his own progress because spiritually the devil will have a reason to accuse that relationship and that is why you, when you see a man that is doing very well he will stop progressing and begin to retrogress or begin to suffer from stagnancy so don't abuse your spiritual authority over your wife because to a great extent both partners should have an agreement to have this intimacy and they believe me because uh, intimacy cut cut across just physical connection that spiritual connection will transcend into your all-round success and improvement so that is another one so with this few points of mind i hope i have been able to convince you and not to confuse you that these types of intimacy to a great extent is that it's actually enjoyed at the confide of marriage and by god's grace in my next video i'll be sharing with you recommended days for intimacy according to biblical sometimes people used to ask what are the recommended number of day times that one should have and what are specific days that is optional compulsory that one should actually have fun or have intimacy because to a great extent it's going to help your spiritual well-being not just about physical well-being but that will depend on this if there are enough tons of comment and views in this video i will do justice to that but please first of all share this video to seven good people and god will bless you remember to come and join our wiki mind spirituality global academy because i have much more things to benefit from that particular academy that is beyond what i share in this particular social media platform so if you have not subscribed to be part of this family what are you waiting for kindly hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload comment on this video share it widely to everyone my share be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you so with this i say enjoy your day bye, -bye.